The council are keen to keep all our green borders intact. They've sent a team up every creek in the city to assess their state and report back on their findings. The women who are doing the work are doing a practical analysis of, of what is currently around our streams. What sort of clearance has taken place? What are the things which we might need to do as a city to start improving the water quality, start restoring some of the, the natural features of the landscape that quite often have disappeared, especially in the urban areas. So, for example, around the town centres, where Henderson is a really good example, which is built almost right round a really lovely little stream that nobody ever sees because all the shops turn their backs. So the, the team are going out to have a look, um, to look at what we need to do to restore some of those streams along the edges, both sides, in a thing called the riparian margin, which means that what we'll do is encourage people not to build um, on that margin, to start regenerating, to start replanting trees, native trees, uh, around those areas, and to restore some of the beautiful um, parts that we have in our city. This is the Manisha Fowl, which uh, is quite heavily in flood at the moment. It's not normally this big. It's actually a very attractive river. It's got rock platforms and that sort of thing. Um, it's in the middle of Moya Park Esplanade Reserve, but on either side of the river are in fact houses. We're, we're in the middle of Massey, and um, if we walked up to the top of that uh, cliff there, then you'd, there'd just be houses and um, residential properties there. Um, this area, what we're particularly looking at is um, weed species present because it's a sort of remnant, piece of remnant regenerating bush, so um, it's quite important for us to get, identify weed species and get them out. Particularly we're looking at garden escapes because they're something which are becoming more and more prevalent in the city. Plants which people innocently grow in their gardens but actually are spreading out into the bush. And obviously it's worse here in the urban areas than it is in the Waitakere Ranges but it's also happening in the ranges as well. Waitakere City Council is trying to actually link up areas which would provide habitat for wildlife and one of those areas is the margins of streams. So what we want is areas with lots of good vegetation so that we can actually link up the Waitakere Ranges with Auckland City down these ecological corridors. So that's one reason to protect these stream margins apart from water quality issues other things like that. Unfortunately, a lot of our urban streams aren't treated very well by some people and they're really high in litter, particularly in the stream and around its margins. Some of this is from stormwater drains because a lot of people just throw stuff on the road and that ends up in the streams. But we have been to some areas where the stream has just been used as a tip. Vacuum cleaners, supermarket trolleys are pretty common. Uh, also, of course, the ubiquitous chip wrapper and cans of coke and that sort of thing. And this sort of debris ends up concentrating and causing the stream to flood as well. We know you're out there, but for all we know, you could be on the moon. So come on, give us a call, Barry or Christie on 3750228 and let us know what you think of the local land. <laughs>